guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a clothing try on haul. So I have a bunch of stuff that I have collected over the past couple of months. Um, mostly from Boohoo. But there are a couple pieces from places such as Alley Fashion, Crossroads and City Chic. So let's get into the giant haul. And just a disclaimer, there are a bunch of products that Boohoo sent me and I don't even know why. Like, I, there was no invoice in the bag. It was just a bunch of clothes in a bunch of different sizes that seemed to fit me in, like, on my doorstep. I didn't order them and I'm just like, okay, cool. Thanks for the free clothes, Boohoo. Like, I have no idea why they sent it to me, whether I got someone else's order, but then I thought there'd be an invoice inside of the order. It was addressed to me in my address you know, no invoice. I'm like, well, you know, wait, what? <laughs> so thank you for, you for the free stuff. I'm super excited. Not all of it is my taste. However, I am very grateful nonetheless. And you know, why not let's have some fun trying on some clothes. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first top is this purple singlet from City Chic. Um, sorry about the wrinkles, it's been in the bag, but, um, I thought this top would be really cute under like a little blazer or something, just because of that sort of just doesn't really sit that right, but if it was covered I feel like it'd be good, but I think the ruffle and the colour is really cute, perfect for the weather in summer here in Australia in spring and all of that, um, right now, so yeah, I thought this was a really cute colour and I'm really wanting to try and experiment with colour a little bit more because... Like 90% of my wardrobe is black, so yeah, definitely trying to mix it up with some colour as you'll see in this video today. But yeah, um, there's this first little number. The material is actually really decent quality as well, so yeah. Good on you, City Chick, for this one. This top is also from City Chick. Um, apologies for the fact that I'm wearing black underneath. I should be wearing white underneath. But yeah, I thought this one was quite cute. I like the chiffon material I always have. And I think the studs are quite nice. So I'm, I've always been to that kind of like, like not like rocker, but like chic sort of rock. Kind of like a little bit of an edge. But yeah, I thought this one was a nice little white top to go into like a leather jacket or something like that. So yeah. So this bright blue one is actually from Crossroads and I got it because the colour just really stood out to me and again I'm trying to experiment with colour a bit more and I know it kind of looks a bit like frumpy business but I think under like a leather jacket or a blazer or something it could look really nice, um, kind of just like like business casual sort of thing so yeah I really liked the colour and I wanted to give it a go because I know back in the day I used to love like blues like this so yeah. Definitely wanted to give it a go again. Then also from Crossroads, I got another pair of pants that I wear to work. These are just some stretchy black pants, like really stretchy, a waist, got some um, zip detailing on them. They are the pants that I'm wearing like right now. Um, but yeah, just grabbed another pair because I need like a million pairs of pants for work. So, you know, just adding another one to the pile. <laughs> I'm going to move on to Alley Fashion and they recently just launched their Kirby range. Um, they have a lot of nice things but also a lot of things that I would just never touch with a pole. So um, I did grab a couple of things just to see what the range was like. Um, this t-shirt being one of them. Um, it's obviously a play off of Tommy Hilfiger. It just says Tomboy on it. I just thought, you know, it's like just a loose casual t-shirt. It's just something nice to wear um, around the house or out to lunch. Like not anything... You could easily dress it up with a leather jacket or something, but yeah, I just thought I just, it's another comfy t-shirt, so yeah. So this next top is also from LA Fashion, and um, let's just say it looks better on the website than it did in person, so um, it's quite short, and it is a wrap top, but I thought it would just be like a wrap look. You'd physically have to put the string through a hole in the side, and that would be fine if it was longer, but like, if that wrapping comes loose, your area is exposed, your entire body is exposed. So I definitely wouldn't feel comfortable without wearing wearing this out if I didn't have like a sing on underneath or something. But yeah, it's really short and it could come undone at like any moment. But if it was like sewn in just to look like a wrap rather than actually being a wrap, I think you'd feel a lot more comfortable wearing it. Um, but yeah, I definitely have to wear a jacket over this and the fact that I... It's so short, like I feel like 
it's just not long enough for what I like. Um, I just feel like with Ali Fashion releasing this new line, I feel like the people who are designing this probably aren't people who are actually wearing them. So I, they don't understand that even if it looks good on the model that they are lying about the size of, um, you know, it doesn't look good on everyone or everyone's not going to feel comfortable in their self to wear it, even if it did look good on them. Like, I would not feel comfortable going out like I am right now. Like, I would need to wear a singlet underneath, probably put a jacket on top, because this thing could come undone at any moment and my entire body would be exposed. So, yeah, I'm... It's a nice top. I just don't think it was executed as good as it could have been. So, yeah, I really liked the fact that, you know, it had some ruffles. It was um, polka dots. And I did think it was quite cute. I just think the execution, not there. So, this next one is also from Ali Fashion. And I know it's not technically something I would usually go for. It's definitely not my usual style. Um, the big floral prints and the colour, like this colour usually washes me out a little bit and like the floral prints probably are a bit more mature than my 24 years of age but I definitely wanted to, you know, go out of my comfort zone and I'm trying to try new things like wearing all black everything is kind of getting old so I just want to kind of step out and see what I, f I feel comfortable in and um, so this top, um, again, it's a little bit shorter than I would like if it was, it's definitely better than the last wrap top uh, this one has an elastic waist, which I do feel more comfortable in than the wrap. But yeah, I really think that this one is a better option than the wrap, just because I feel more secure in the shirt. Um, but yeah, the colour and the print is something I'm going to have to get used to, um, just because it's not my usual style. But yeah, um, something to sort of try out and see if I like it. Maybe one day in 20 years' time, it'll be my style, if it's... You know, a bit more mature or whatever, so... And the last thing I'm from Ali Fashion is this little dress. Um, again, trying to go out my comfort zone. Um, it definitely is, is a wrap, but it's not so much a wrap that, you know, if it fell down, it wouldn't expose my naked body, so at least that's got that going for it. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that it has, like, a button here at the boobs because you could, you know, choose how you want to wear it. Yeah, I really liked how, you know, it's a navy, so going towards that darker sort of tones that I'm used to by wearing all black. Um, and I liked the pink flowers, very easy to match makeup and shoes with it. Um, the only quarrels I kind of have is that this is tied at its tightest here, but it still kind of hangs loose here. Um, and also the arms have elastic in them. I feel like they'd be more comfortable if they were loose um, But again, it's going for that sort of style. But yeah, it's a little bit short for my liking So I guess I'll have to turn up my legs a little bit um, For it It doesn't come like to my knees. It's up quite a bit above and with that wrapping it sort of you know creates like angles and stuff, but yeah my mother never approves of me wearing anything short, so something to get used to, I guess. Everything else from here on out is going to be from Boohoo, and this is the next one I got. It's another little floral dress. This one's definitely a bit more secure. Um, you know, this is all elasticated, like there's nothing to have to tie up, like you can just relax in it. Um, like I, it's going into that black that I sort of want to like you know, keep some black in my wardrobe, but the flower print is definitely out of my comfort zone. And it's definitely a lot shorter um, than my mother would like. So, yes, if you don't mind seeing some cottage cheese thighs, uh, you know. But, yeah, I again, I'm trying to go out of my comfort zone. Um, like, I feel like it makes my boobs look like mum boobs. <laughs> like, I feel like a mum in this sort of dress. Like, I guess the print is quite like, a bit more mature than I'm used to, but, yeah. Just trying to get out of my comfort zone and try some new things, see what looks good on me, what doesn't, because I've always just worn black, so... Yeah, let me know what you think of this dress. I'm still kind of deciding on my opinion on it. But yeah. So, this next dress from Boohoo, and I have to say, I'm definitely feeling a bit more comfortable in this one. Just because it's black, it's a little bit longer, not like super long where, you know, it's a bit shorter at the back, but... 
I'm still a bit more comfortable with this dress just because it is definitely my comfort zone. It makes my boobs look really good. Um, the only thing I'm trying to get used to is the fact that this entire thing's layer, this top layer is lace and the sleeves is kind of what I'm trying to get used to. Um, just because I thought they would be a bit more skin tight rather than baggy. So like just trying to get used to a baggy lace sleeve. I feel like if it was like a short, like it came up to like your elbows or something, or even if there were no sleeves at all. Um, but yeah, I don't want to cut the sleeves off and then ruin the entire dress. But yeah, I'm definitely feeling a lot more comfortable compared to everything else just because it is in my comfort zone. Next one is a long black um, chiffon shirt, quite short around the waist, particularly at the back. Like these are high waisted pants and you can basically see my skin. So I'll definitely be wearing a back singlet underneath this one. But yeah, this one like is really itchy. <laughs> But I do really like the look of it. Like I like the ruffles around the neckline and around the boobs. And I also like the puffy sleeves. Um, I'm really glad I didn't get this in the white just because it would be really see-through. But yeah, um, this is just so short. I would have to wear a single one underneath it. But I really, um, I'm feeling it, you know what I mean? I'm feeling the vibe and I'll have to save it for a cooler month. But yeah, I'm quite feeling this. So yeah. And it's got ruffles in like the elbows as well. Yeah, I just think it's quite cute. So everything else in this video, um, I got sent an order from Boohoo that I didn't make. I don't know if it was someone else's order or they just randomly sent me a bag of free stuff. But it got a bag of stuff got delivered to my house with my name on it. And there was no invoice. And I'm just like, okay, thanks. And everything was in my size. So... It's kind of like, okay, thanks. So, um, not all of it's my style, even though I'm trying to branch out. It still wouldn't be things I would be even looking to branch out into. Um, you'll see. But, yeah, the first one is actually something I would go for. Just what I'm wearing this top right now. I actually already own it from Boohoo in Black. So, you know, got another color. Thanks for that, Boohoo. But, yeah, I really like um, the neckline. I think it's quite sexy. And, um... It's quite flowy and comfortable. I think the black one does look a bit sexier. Um, the grey one, I feel like this style doesn't suit the colour grey. Um, but it's really comfortable. I would wear it um, through winter with jacket on. Like, this is something I actually get some use out of. Whereas some of these other things... Whew. So, yeah, this one's really comfy and I already own it. So, good job, Boohoo. Next thing that Boohoo sent me was this little... Um, sort of maroon little chiffon singlet a bit short for my liking but workable wear a singlet underneath put a jacket on top I feel like I say that about every shirt but <laughs> you know I guess that's just my style um hence why summer can be hard for me to dress winter on the other hand as much as I hate winter is like the best time for fashion <laughs> so um it's not something I would go for um it does have little tortoise shell buttons on it um, it's not terrible. I'll probably get some use out of it just by popping a jacket over top. But, yeah. Um, not terrible. Not something I'll go for. So, it's kind of... Yeah, it's it's definitely not that bad. So, yeah. Good job, Boo. So, this one that Boohoo picked for me, I assume, they picked it for me. I'm not a fan of this. <laughs> the print for one. <laughs> It's a bit bold. Um, also, it's one of those wrap tops. You've got to put the string through the side. Very insecure wearing or something like that. Just because I'm scared it's going to fall out and you're going to see everything. But that doesn't matter because you already see everything in this. Um, so it's off the shoulder with this elastic that doesn't even matter. But there's these straps. But like, how is, how is someone of my size supposed to wear no bra? That and this doesn't actually stay even it's as tight as it will possibly tie but these are too big like and you see everything and there's no way for me to make it any better um the length i appreciate it's not super long but it's definitely longer than a lot of other tops that are made in this size these days but it's just <laughs> come on <laughs> like look at this thing it's very bold it's very bold um 
like it's puffy elastic sleeves with tiny little straps and you can't even hold your boobs in and you have to wrap it up with these tiny little strings and like it doesn't flatter you when it cuts into your fat at the back it's just <sighs> I see where they're going with this but no no boohoo sorry no so the next thing that boohoo gave me was this turtleneck top like I've struggled to get into this and it's my size like it is so tight the pain it took to get my head through this hole like i can't even move my arms properly um it's so short like i'm dying in this thing like ugh. like if you're gonna do plus size for turtlenecks make it baggy and flowy not like straight jacket sort of situation this is a no-go for me like, now, if they sent me someone else's order, who the fuck ordered this? This little plaid skirt overall situation? What? Who the fuck ordered this? This is disgusting. Like, this is a Halloween costume. Like, who the hell orders this? Like, it fits me. It's really, really short, and so I'm not showing you the bottom. But, who the hell ordered this? Who would make this? Who would produce this? Who would think this is a money-making design? What? This is not a Halloween. <laughs> Who the hell thinks that this looks cute? I'm sorry if I've offended someone, but like, it's just the furthest thing away from my style. <laughs> so, and I had to wear this horrible thing underneath it because you would have seen everything in this horrible thing like so the next thing is this off the shoulder dress and i'm not going to show you the bottom simply because it is so short you will see my literal asshole um it's like an oversized shirt but like an off the shoulder dress designed for a stick thin model but they've just produced in a larger material size this is awful <laughs> like i even checked the website and this dress is modeled by a skinny girl fine sell it to a city don't produce clothing in bigger sizes just to seem like, you know, you're inclusive. <sighs> produce items that will look good on them. You know what I mean? This is terrible. Like, my literal arsehole can be seen in this dress. And <laughs> holy shit. Who the hell would want to wear that if you're this size? Like, come on. Like, this is awful. <laughs> Sorry, but like... I, oh, just get it off of me. So last but not certainly least, we've got this t-shirt dress that they sent. Um, not awful if it was just a t-shirt. Um, I don't like, I like the color, obviously, the design, um, the material. It's extremely short. I would never wear it out in public. It does absolutely nothing for my figure. Um, t-shirt dresses just make you look even bigger. But this is going to be perfect sleeping dress, like a nighty. This is, I'm going to love wearing this around the house, sloughing around. So thank you for that, boohoo. But I would never wear this out in public. Like, my asshole's hanging out. This is a home dress. This is a lounging around on the couch watching Netflix and eating chips sort of dress. Like, this ain't a going out in public sort of dress. But yeah, at least I will get some use out of it. I'm like, some of those other outfits. Ah, well, I didn't get into it. But yeah. That is that. <laughs> so yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this giant clothing haul and maybe even got some inspiration for yourself. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one. See you guys!